Today's session is kind of a unique one. And for those that are looking for a name or write this down, I want you to write this down. They don't believe you. They don't believe you. Now, there's going to be an, an, there's an incredible level of desperation right now that is in the commercial world. All right. Everyone is, you know, struggling. Every business is challenged. You know, the restaurants are trying the best they can with drive throughs and things are slowly but surely reopening. A lot of the businesses that were closed into their entirety, when they come back on, they are going to be desperate. And unfortunately, desperate people do desperate things. So the first thing that I want you to write down in the world of they don't believe you is these people are bombarded. I'm going to use the abbreviated version up on the board. But they're bombarded by bogus assertions. Bogus assertions. These are the uh, bogus assertions. If you uh, take this pill, you'll lose belly fat. Right? If you use this aftershave, you'll be more attractive to the opposite sex. Uh, if you buy this kind of car, if you wear these kind of clothes, if you eat this kind of food, if you live in this particular area, and these assertions run all over the place. And the drawback because of those, since there's no structural guidelines that go along to it, now in desperation, you're going to even hear these things taken higher across the top. Desperate people do desperate things. And, and the marketplace doesn't believe a lot of what you say in a lot of cases because they have heard this for years and years and years. You go back to the 1800s, right? You know, Dr. Anderson's uh, a miracle elixir, right? And it cured everything. It cured baldness and cancer and this and this and this and this. And when you look at the ingredients, it's alcohol and cocaine and, you know, all of these other hallucinogens. So you took it and it didn't cure your baldness and unfortunately didn't take care of your cancer. Might have felt better for a little while and a lot of people saw that. So that idea of the bogus assertions have been going on for years and years and years and years. Right? If, if you look at old magazines, you look at old articles. Nowadays, though, I believe that the average consumer is significantly more uh, sophisticated than it would have been 100 years ago, 200 years ago, even 50 years ago. Now with the advent, excuse me, of the internet and online, you can have all the answers to all your questions literally in front of you on, on your phone. You can find comparisons, you can do everything right up front. So the assertions that are in the marketplace, and if you don't believe it, look at the magazine articles that are in there. Look at the, you know, the, the infomercials that you're going to see late night about how to make a million dollars with real estate with bad credit and no money. And yet people flock to that, right? So number one in the they don't believe you, and this is the attitude part of it, is that they are bombarded by bogus assertions. Thank <laughs> you.